another week in another market we are going to a pumpkin patch today to set up for our markets it's a one-day market and it's actually start way too early for my taste like it started way too early for my stay it will begin at 9 a.m so we're gonna go set up and it's like 7 35 so we'll probably get there around like eight eight ten minutes or something and then we'll set up and get ready for the market to begin at 9 a.m and it will go all the way to 4 p.m i'm pretty excited because um i think this will be a really good market for us um if the weather's on my side the forecast is that it's gonna rain like for like an hour or so but it's only 30 percent chance of rain though so hopefully it won't fall into our area and i think it's pretty good beside the weather like it should be good because this pumpkin patch will have lots of kids comes out and you know kids always love my stuff and i always love to luring kids I also have something really cool at my boots today, but I will have to show you guys that a little later. Okay, the lighting not terrible. We are all set up and it's really cold and windy out. I think my nose started to run. Name. Yeah, I think it definitely started running. So I brought myself some of these. This is my first time trying it out, so I will let you guys know if it actually works. Here's the said. Take it out. You shake it. Okay, it it does say like it takes 15 to 30 minutes to warm up. So put it in my pocket. The wind's really strong from that direction, so we have like that one bin because it's quite heavy to put it over and then some other stuff, but let me fix the situation. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think the thing's actually warming up now. I think it's a little too cold out, so we don't have a lot of people yet. <laughs> and it's like 15 minutes to 10 a.m. So, just sitting here patiently waiting. We started to have people walking around. I'm toasted. I mean, these things kind of like warming up, but for like how cold I am, like I'm just like naturally super duper cold. Always, like I'm not feeling. What I'm trying to say, like I have cold blood. That's the best way I can even describe it. So to warm myself up, I need things like a lot warmer than other people would need, I would say. So these is not warm enough for me so far. But I don't know. It's supposed to last like 18 hours, so maybe it would be warmer in a little bit. But I want to show you guys something first. I got my Halloween nails. This is just the press on from Kiss. They're like really, really cute. I liked it a lot. And then I brought myself some Italian wraps and chicken scissor, but I don't think we'll eat chicken scissor in this weather. But my second favorite fruit, blueberry. So these should hold me off until the party later today. really cold that being said i also very much so have a lot of love for my water bottle this one actually can hold like hot and cold drink for a good amount of time like the bottle when you hold it is really cold but the water is still like hot also for this one because um i did some digging as all of you should if you do market 
before my market for like the weather and stuff and it is say it's really windy and might be rain and cold so I got these like tent wall that I think is helping out so freaking much like the wind comes in from this direction right so we have like a big wall right there and then the other two side I have like a half tent wall because I still want people to be able to like look inside and see that we have stuff you know so yeah now we just see sit here and wait for our customers to show up it's officially 10 a.m but i did make one sales i sold a baby ghost I'll leave the right here for you. Yes. i saw one baby ghost so far it was like a really quick make a decision oh i let that ghost buy it and then like oh um let me take you guys see the booth And now it is raining. <gasps> I really hope the rain will just stop by for a little bit and it will be gone. A weakness. I never want to sleep. And I woke up really, really early compared to my normal routine. So I don't understand. It literally was saying like 30% chance of rain. And now it's raining. Actually, 60%? Well, it wasn't supposed to rain until like noon. It's only 10. Pretty screwed. I started seeing some kids. I am seeing children. train station so there's a train coming here and estimately they have like 300 people on there so maybe 10 percent of that was stop by well this market absolutely an oopsie market i i think the biggest reason why i show up to this market is because i plan this market happened on my planner for like three months or almost three months, something like that. So I've planned it for this to happen. I've prepped the specific items for this market. And then for it to turn out this way is such a bummer. So let me recap the whole story for you. About like a week before the market, I checked the weather to see how it's going to be. And it says 60% change that it's going to rain. And if you don't already know, when it says 60% like that, that means 60% of the area going to rain. It's not like 60% change the rain, like rain going to come down. It's 60%. It's going to rain regardless, but only 60% of the area, not 100% of the area. So that's honestly a really high rate because how big is the city? Really? 60%? That's like almost a whole city, probably four three two two three blocks is 40 percent is not gonna rain so i was waiting to see if the event planner like if they would cancel the events but they didn't and the show still going on i specifically emailed her and asked like hey so i see the weather is like that so what are we gonna do with situations like are we gonna be able to get to move inside somewhere that like not so cold are we canceling the event 
And could you not? She did not. She did not answer my email for that specific question. Did not answer me at all up until the last day, which is the day right before the market. Then she、uh, proceeded to send all of us, all the vendors, an email of our numbers and like the map that you can barely see <laughs> where she would be. And then in the email, she said,、uh, "This is a rain or shine." Event, so、uh, we not canceling. It's going on. It's gonna happen regardless. And I think that's a very cruel thing to do. I paid fifty dollars to be this the vendor at this event, and I was out in fifty degrees cold and raining at the same time. If it's just cold, I think I probably like could have been fine, but. The rain, dude. It was raining too, and then it's still cold. And you know our products, we have crochet plushie, so that is like, dude, my stuff cannot get wet. I think at first when it's just cold, like I'm doing pretty well. I can handle myself pretty well. But after it start raining with all the moisture and then cold. I start to get like really sick. Like I have blur visions. My blood pressure was like dropping. And thank goodness to this lady at the store right next to me. She has her van like pull up right next to her、uh, booth. That so I'm like, would you please let me lay in your car for just a little bit? Cause I'm not feeling so well. Like I feel like I'm gonna pass out. And she's like, she oh sweet and really nice, like oh yeah, of course come over. And then she like put a blanket onto the back seat so I can lay there. Honestly, without her, I think I'm doomed. Like I literally, do, I would have passed out there and then have an ambulance come pick me up and then left all of my stuff there. But thanks to her, I didn't even ask what her name. Hold on. So her business call. A small piece of magic, and she specializes in Brazilian crafts and beyond. Okay, like she has a lot of like D and D pieces, really cool. She made also made these earrings. This is a skeleton, and they glow in the dark. I can't wait until it at night. They start glowing, and I'm scaring people. I also got myself this from her. This is a dragon. Look how beautiful the color is. Yes, if you don't know, I was born the year of the dragon. I am the dragon, so when I see this pea and this color combinations, I just have to grab them. Back about it. I'm so sorry. I did not even ask for your name, but I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out on that day. One more time, I am eternally grateful for you. So all of you, please go. Check her out. Give her、um, showing her a lot of love, because you know we all out here and try to make ends meet, and it's a really, it's a really sweet community to have people that would you know helping you out unconditionally, like they're not asking anything in return, they're not asking you to pay them, but they just you know be really kind and nice soul on this earth that helping us out. So I will leave her、um, Facebook, her email down in my description box below, so that you guys can check her out. But here also is a QR code. If you guys want to scan it right now and just check out her her pieces, because look at this dragon. This is a gem. It literally a gem. I'm having this on my work desk. To look at it and remind me of the sweet soul that saved me that day. With how the weather was, I don't think it exactly had that much traffic.、Um, I did got like a decent amount of sales. I think I made like nine sales in the nine from like nine a.m. to like one thirty, two p.m. That's how long we actually stay. The events go all the way to 4 p.m. But after five hours, I, everybody left, and there was <laughs> low-key gaslighting us. They were telling us like, "Oh, this is like a train station, so or like nearby a train station, so 
when the train stopped, it has about like 300 people on there that they would come out there to look at stuff and things like that. But there were nobody. And they said there should be like two trains that stopped by. But actually there was only one. And nothing really happened from those trains. Like you can literally hear the train. But those humans that are on the train, maybe there were no humans. Or they just didn't turn into our area at all. Because, again, it was cold, windy, and rainy. So, overall, this is an experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. And I will try my best to never make this mistake again as I'm still living in the East Coast. If the events is fit, like below 60 degrees, I will not be an outdoor vendor. Yes. That is something I'm going to do from now on to protect myself from what just recently happened. But um, this is not a successful market. It's a very sad story. But if you're looking for a happier story, I suggest you to check out this video next. In this video, I will take you to the haunted market. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in this video next. Bye!